Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are using SimBrief to download your flight plans for Microsoft Flight Sim, they've got a new tool. The SimBrief Downloader makes it a hundred times easier to download your flight plans, especially if you're using the 737, the Mad Dog MD-82, and probably much more. So we're going to go over all this coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. If you have any questions along the way today, be sure to go down below and leave those in the comments section and I will get right back to you. While you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with SimBrief, I'll post a link down below in the description for a video I did on how to create a basic SimBrief flight plan. After you create your SimBrief flight plan and you go down all the way to the bottom where you can download that flight plan, you're now going to see an option here that we can download the SimBrief downloader application. After you download this tool, you'll be left with something just like this that's going to populate on your screen. The first thing that I recommend to do is to go up to the change settings and just go through these and make sure that you have everything set the way that you would like it to be. Next, you'll notice at the very top here is going to be our current flight that we just loaded into SimBrief. If it's not the current flight, all you need to do is hit the refresh button and it will then refresh to the most current flight. Below that, we have a huge list of different areas in where we can save our flight plans. This is where this application shines and makes it really easy to download your flight plans to specific either applications, aircraft, or simulators. So the first one that I wanna select here is the FS2020. And when you do, we can select a custom download directory file for our flight plan itself. All we need to do is to tick on the little drop down box here. And now we can select the file folder that we want to use for the flight plan. To the right of that, we have a couple other icons here. And I'll go over this real quick as well. If we want to have this file saved in multiple locations, we can add another location to this by hitting the plus icon. This will open up another directory and we can choose alternate directory for the flight plan to get loaded to. And don't worry, you can also choose which one of these that you want to download to. I'll show you that here in a minute. To get rid of that, we're just going to hit the minus and that'll take that directory away. To download the directory to this file, all we need to do is hit the export this file only and it will export this file to that download directory. You also have an option at the very top here where it says export selected formats. Well, this is okay, but if you're like me and have multiple different formats that are selected down here below, like the PMDG or the MD-80, well, we don't want all of these flight plans being sent to these folders every single time that we're gonna download a flight plan because I may not be using these planes. I very rarely use the export selected formats just for that specific reason. And this way you don't get bogged down with a bunch of different flight plans so the next one I want to show you is the Leonardo MD-80. Here we're able to choose the different directories to download the flight plans to. Again, for these aircraft, you have to know the directory in which you're going to be downloading the files to. Because they are not going to be the same as your normal aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And now whenever you need to download a flight plan, the only thing that we need to do is to come over here and select export this flight plan only, and it will automatically download and input that flight plan into both of those files. So you don't have to manually go in and do this. That's gonna be a wrap for the SimBrief downloader tool. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. And to all my flight simmer friends around the world, Keep the blue side up. We'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.